Bohemian Rhapsody is a drama biopic film about the British rock band named Queen, which I'm pretty sure most of you are very well aware of who they are, and it's directed by Brian Singer, the same director from the original X-Men movies, and also by Dexter Fletcher. And you may be asking yourself, why two directors? Well, more on that later. And it stars Rami Malek as the famous lead singer Freddie Mercury. And the movie focuses on Mercury's personal and professional life with the band, leading all the way up to Queen's Live Aid performance at the Wembley Stadium in 1985. And me being such a huge fan of Queen ever since I was a child, when I found out that they were doing this movie, I was just completely hyped. But being completely honest, I was worried ever since I started reading about all the behind the scenes drama that was happening in this movie. With all the conflict between the cast members and the director, which led to the firing of Brian Singer and the studio bringing in Dexter Fletcher to finish the movie. And with all movies with last minute additions, especially in the director's chair, they tend to have noticeable flaws and differences in the final release. And honestly, there was a point in the movie where it actually felt like two different movies mashed into one. With the first half of the movie feeling more like a highlight reel of Queen's greatest hits, more so than actual storytelling, and only does it in the second half decide to actually focus on Freddy's internal conflicts. So now what? Uh, this is when the operatic section comes in. Oh. Huh. The operatic section, yeah. And I just can't help but feel that they literally chopped up the narrative of this movie, trying to fit 15 years of history of Queen into a two hour long movie. Skimming through events, interactions, and developments that honestly should have been given more depth in this movie. With one dimensional and sideline characters that honestly should have stood out more in this movie just because of their importance to Freddie Mercury's life. I mean seriously, the other band members were just in the movie for one-liners, and jokes. I mean, come on. Not to mention the bad pacing of this movie, clocking around 2 hours and 15 minutes and actually feeling like 3 freaking hours at the movie theater. But not all is bad with this drama queen, because if there is one thing that I do have to highlight, is Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. He just perfectly embodies the character, perfectly capturing the eccentric, charming, conflicted, arrogant, yet quirky personality that we've all come to love and admire as Queen fans. And also, I just loved how stylish this movie was with all the old school themes, vibes, and effects that this movie was giving off. Very Queen inspired. And of course, hearing and seeing all of the incredible songs being performed on the big screen and also seeing how the band composed them was just so, so satisfying. Roger, there's only room in this band for one hysterical queen. Let me go, let you go. Mark these words. No one will play a queen. Fortune favors the bold. But in the end, Bohemian Rhapsody might be a very entertaining movie, especially for fans. But as a reviewer, honestly, Queen deserved much better. And that is why the only score that I can give Bohemian Rhapsody is... Three stars out of five. Oh, and did I mention that the finale of this movie is just completely and outstandingly amazing? Seriously, I felt like I was right there with them. So yeah, boys and girls, this was my review of Bohemian Rhapsody. I hope you liked my video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these in the future. But anyways, as always, I ask my Heavenly Father to bless you all, and that you guys can have a tremendous good day today. My name is Marcus Cantero, and as always, stay random.